The F-22 Raptor is so advanced that the United States has banned its sale to any other country. But what makes this aircraft such an exceptional machine? How did it become the first fifth-generation fighter in history? And why is it still considered the best fighter jet in the world today? In this video, we'll explore all the secrets of this legend of the skies. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, take a moment to do so and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss any analysis like this one. In the 1980s, the United States Air Force realized that the future of aerial warfare was changing. The fighters of the time, such as the F-15 Eagle, were impressive but already had limitations against emerging threats, especially from the Soviet Union, which was developing jets like the Mikoyan MiG-29 and the Sukhoi Su-27, equipped with advanced radars and improved detection capabilities. The solution was to create something revolutionary, a fighter jet that was nearly invisible to radar, with greater speed, altitude, and maneuverability. This led to the birth of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF program, which established the requirements for this new aircraft, including innovative design with stealth technology, use of composite materials, advanced avionics, and fly-by-wire flight control, powerful engines for supercruise, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. The competition for the new fighter project came down to Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, two companies already experienced in developing stealth aircraft. Lockheed introduced the YF-22 prototype, while Northrop presented the YF-23. Both prototypes had their first flights in 1990. While the YF-23 had advantages in speed and stealth, the YF-22 stood out for its superior maneuverability and cost-effectiveness, qualities prioritized by the U.S. Air Force. The most notable difference between them was in the engine exhaust design. The YF-23 had a fixed nozzle to reduce infrared signature, while the YF-22 used thrust vectoring, significantly enhancing its agility in combat. With the YF-22's victory, an intense development process began to refine its systems and ensure operational readiness. At this stage, Boeing joined the project with the Avionics Flying Laboratory, AFL, program, using a modified Boeing 757 to test the fighter's avionics before full-scale production. After overcoming challenges in design, weight, and stealth optimization, the F-22 project was completed in 1997. The first official flight took place on September 7th of that year. After years of refinements and testing, it was officially introduced into the U.S. Air Force in 2005, becoming the world's first operational fifth-generation fighter jet.